Hi everybody. Well, I'm just having a walk here past uh, Warhammer Castle. I'll swing the camera around and you can see it's just behind me. Just there. It's where the uh, Queen Mother used to come down when she was Lord Warden of the uh, St. Courts. So it's a lovely day today. Just up for a little walk and uh, I just realised along here all this used to be cut. But now I think they're letting it grow. I think they're doing all this rewilding. Hang on, I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, you can see it all here, how long they've left the grass. I'm actually on a little path, so I can't really damage anything, crush any flowers or anything. Yeah, walk in this direction takes you all the way to Kingstown. So, uh, <clears throat> just a about a mile, a couple of miles, that's, you know, I've had a deal down here in Kent. But yeah, they, usually this is all cut down. But I think they've got a, a rewilding uh, scheme going on, as it is around most of the country nowadays. There's a little path just here. I'll just cut through here. And the beach is literally just on the other side of this. This is the cycle path. And the other side is the footpath. And you have to really watch yourself crossing here. You have to loop both ways because they come past on these e-bikes. And I'm telling you, they really do hammer it. So here's the beach. Lots of nice wildflowers. Kids like to play in those trees, especially during the school holidays. And the mums are in there, they usually bring a little picnic with them. They come down here, sit along the beach, and just let the kids run around safe and, you know. He's looking really good today. Sort of turquoisey colour. Don't know if you can see that, but uh, I can't see because it's too bright and I've got my sunglasses on. But if you can see Deal Pier, and um, some people are just down there in front of me. Yeah, so it gives you some idea how far I am away from Deal. This is all called Walmer Beach. Walmer is supposed to be where Julius Caesar first set foot in England way back in the day <laughs> when he invaded, uh, when the Romans invaded England. Apparently set foot on Walmer Beach. All right, let's have a walk down the footpath. Actually, I prefer to walk along the uh, track than the footpath. Much nicer. And see, so just Walmer Castle just coming into view again. got some cannons just there. It's all English heritage. If you're an English heritage member, obviously you get in free. And I've got a car park just down here a little bit, uh, which is also free if you're an English heritage member. Obviously, if you're not, you've got to pay. Yeah, gorgeous day today. Yesterday it was just rain, 
most of yesterday was torrential rain, very cloudy, miserable, completely different today. Yeah, this is the uh, English Heritage car park just here and the castle is literally just there. Two minute walk and you're inside. Just back on the footpath again. Just over there, that motorhome. That's uh, one of the YouTubers I follow, the Travelling Wib Wibblies. Chris is at work today. He works in the, the castle. So I was speaking to his mum earlier. And this is a <coughs> free car park as well. Park here all day, but they do lock it up at about 7.30 at night. Uh, sorry, about 8.30 at night, and they open it at 7.30 in the morning. As you can see, you can get coaches and all sorts in here. You can see all the flowers around here in abundance. Yeah, normally all this area is, is all cut down, especially this time of year. Well, I think they're doing a rewilding, which is good for all the insects, the bees and everything else. The flowers are looking really nice. Bring it down a bit lower, It'll give you some idea. Don't think I've ever seen it this long before. <clears throat> And the car park, coach park is just straight up there. Of course, it's, uh, all the kids are off school as well for the week. And the bank holiday yesterday. <clears throat> it was a bit of a, as I said earlier, a bit of a washout with the rain. Oh, not yesterday, sorry, Monday. It's, it's now Wednesday. I've missed today, sorry. few years ago, all this green, uh, <clears throat> Benedict Cumberbatch was here. They did a bit of filming. Uh, I can't remember the name of the film, but they were here for a few days. 
let all the caravans and everything else. Yeah, so it did attract a bit of a crowd as well. There's two little seats just there where I normally sit. Uh, it's a good little sun trap, those two ladies are. This is all your cycle path on this side and your footpath is the other side. And it goes all the way down, all the way along the seafront, Walmer to deal. So the white line, this side, is the uh, cycle path. This side is the footpath. Right, this is this Julius Caesar uh, memorial I was telling you about earlier. They supposed to have set foot in Walmer. Let's see if there's any dates on this. Landed here in LVBC. I'm not good with Roman numerals. The first Roman invasion of Britain led by Julius Caesar in LVBC landed near here. So it's not the actual spot, it's just to commemorate his landing in Britain. So you can see this, just give you an idea of the area. All this area years ago used to be parked with camper vans and motorhomes, but they banned it from six o'clock at night till six in the morning. So nobody comes here anymore. Yeah, some of the uh, residents on the other side complained and uh, the council put signs up now saying no overnight parking. So you can park during the day, six in the morning till six in the evening, but just not, you just can't stay overnight, which is a shame. And it's happening in so many places in, in England. So, when uh, COVID was on during lockdown, they used to have an NHS flag flying up there. Going back to the Union flag now. And just over there, where you can see all those masts, the sailing boats, that's the Down Sailing Club, the Walmer. They usually meet up on a Sunday, you usually see them out in the sea on, on a Sunday. Yeah. And that little building just over there. Just there, there's a little cafe. Years ago, that used to be a public toilets, but the owners bought it and converted it into a cafe. Let's take a bit of a closer look. Call a sea cafe coffee shop. You can't sit inside or outside. This building is the Walmer lifeboat station. So the lifeboat will come out here. They've got a tractor thing and they just drag it straight through the yellow gates, straight out down onto the beach. Just to give you an idea, so they come out of the blue gates, bring the lifeboat straight through here. But many years ago, it used to be a full-size lifeboat uh, and then they took that away. Dover's got the full-size lifeboat, I think, around this game house. But now, here in Walmer and Deal, they've just got a little three-man rib. But sometimes you come down on a Sunday and they'll be outside doing training exercises. You 
can learn to uh, scuba dive with Canterbury divers. Little beach huts. Just here you've got the uh, Royal Marines Memorial Bandstand for the uh, commemorate the deaths. I think it was 11 Royal Marines who were killed in the IRA bombing of Deal Barracks. I'm sure many of you can remember Margaret Thatcher was a uh, Prime Minister at the time. And it's got uh, the names of the musicians who were killed around the side. A terrible day. There's a guy there with my surname, McMillan, but I don't know if I'm a relative or not, but D. McMillan. Reminds me of my regiment, uh, Royal Green Jackets, who were killed in Hyde Park by a similar thing, by the bandstand, IRA bomb underneath the bandstand. This bandstand is a memorial to the 11 Royal Marine musicians killed by a terrorist bomb in Deal Barracks on the 22nd of September 1989. I was a truck driver at the time. I remember it well. Rest in peace, guys. A very sad day that day and also when uh, the first battalion the well the Royal Green, Green Jackets um, band was playing getting ready to play in Hyde Park the, and they're all sat in the bandstand and people sitting around in their chairs the deck chairs all waiting for the musicians to play Boom. killed I can't remember exactly how many died I think it was around about eight or something but I should know really, but it was such a long time ago. I think like I try to blank out of my mind anyway. So, but yeah, it was another sad day. Right, onwards and upwards. <laughs> Catch you again in a bit. They have the fairground coming on this green. I think it's around about July time. And they used to have a car, antiques car show. Used to come on this green and it used to be free. But now they've moved it. I think it goes to Betzhanger, the old colliery at Bet Betzhanger. I think they charged, I think it was £10 a head last year. I didn't go. I call this a sloping shelter. <laughs> Alright, we're just coming up to the uh, paddling pool and uh, Wilmer Adventure Golf Place which I think it only opened last year. It's just here on my left-hand side behind those white uh, hut things. I'll just pop inside, I'll give you a quick look. Yeah, the paddling pool's just over there. Uh, they're doing some sort of repairs at the moment. They've got these little uh, car things for kids. You got all crazy golf and everything in here. Yeah, it's a warmer paddling pool. Used to bring my children here when they were tiny. It's really, really busy in the summer uh, school holidays. Here is uh, Hut 55 Cafe. They also rent out 
red bikes. And they got some deck chairs there on the beach that you can sit and have your, enjoy your drinks. got this lovely little cottage here on my left and I've got the seats up on the roof as well and in the window they have a little teddy bear and when it's Easter time they always have like Easter egg or Christmas they have Christmas presents around them just see him he's just sat in there <laughs> Yes, right on the beach. Got the ice cream man out today. And somebody's having a new roof on. Yeah, just through this gap here is the uh, car park for deal castle again owned by english heritage i think they've set a time limit on this car park i think it's uh, four hours now maximum and just here is deal castle i did fly my drone over it once get some nice aerial shots You got the moat down here. During the winter, a lot of that was flooded down inside. Well, all the rain that we get here in England. <laughs> but yeah, small castle. Seen this sign, maximum three hours stay. Members free, non-members one pound ten an hour. Almost back in deal now. Kingstown two and a half miles, Dover ten and a half miles. Then you got Sandwich five and a half miles, Canterbury twenty two and a half miles. It's all part of the uh, Sustrans National Cycle routes around the, the UK.
Yeah, you're allowed to cycle and everything along here. There's no restrictions. And then here, this is where they, when they bring in the fish, they sell it here. Ten earlier, there was a guy actually sleeping inside it. So it's got a deal pier just over there. It's got a cafe on the end, toilets. Just there on the left, you got the uh, Time Ball Tower. There's only a few of them left surviving around the world. One, you've got one up at Greenwich. If you ever go to Greenwich, you'll see a Time Ball Tower there as well. That's the Regent. Used to be, a, I think it was like a dance hall or a, and a picture house. That's been empty for about 20 years. The problem is with it, it's got an asbestos roof and nobody's even dare touch it. Yeah, normally it's open. I think it's about £10 to get into the museum. Time Ball Tower. It's closed at the moment. And it's 1796 to 1814. It's a shutter telegraph. 1821, 1831. A semaphore, semaphore, semaphore. I don't know what that is. And 1855, 1927, it was the Time Ball. So yeah, there's a lot of history. Mini cannon there. And just got some information here on the time ball. I'm not going to read it all out. If you want to know about it, just Google it. it should be on Wikipedia. This is quite a popular area. You got the King's Head pub here. Just coming up now to the entrance of the pier. <clears throat> Just clear my throat. <laughs> Got a high tide at the moment. Yeah, 
You normally find me sitting on some of these seats just here. Sirs Deal Beach Parlors. They do a, quite a good range of uh, different flavors of ice cream. This little area here is where people mainly congregate, especially when they buy their ice creams and just sit around on the benches. Road, you got Ken's, uh, what well, used to be called Ken's many years ago. That's your only think amusement arcade in Deal. So, you've got all these machines and places. Route 1 Cafe is there. Looks like they've got a full house today because of the weather. Got the boat house here. Hello, how are you all doing? Well, good to be back on uh, YouTube. It's my first video in about six weeks, I think. So it's nice to have a little break. I, I usually do stop uh, filming around this time of the year. Uh, once I sort the camper van out, get it through its MOT servicing. Uh, I also had the uh, cam belt, timing belt and fan belt all renewed, replaced. So that's that's all good. I mean, it's... The van is five years old now, and they recommend every five years. The mileage is still quite low. It's 15,500 miles in five and a half years, so it's not bad. It's just the fact it was five years. So anyway, that's all done. Had a lot of problems with my uh, laptop. Uh, luckily, I had uh, premium support with Dell. So, and had to get the technician. He, he came out three different times, and replaced the motherboard three times so i had three new motherboards um for some reason it just kept blowing so i that kept me back about another two weeks while i got the uh, laptop all sorted out uh still got a couple little niggly problems it if i leave when i switch it on if i leave it idle it reboots itself it does it about three times but if i'm say on youtube or anything like that or working on it it doesn't do it. It's only when it's sitting idle. I was going to call Dell, but again, I've just, because my uh, premium support ended on the 23rd of May this year. So I've extended it for another year. Um, so at least I'm covered for another year if there's any problems. Because at the end of the day, if I didn't have that premium support, it would have cost me a fortune. Or I would have ended up having to buy a new laptop because it wouldn't have been worth it, you know, the money paying out uh to do it so it would be just cheaper to get a new laptop i've also replaced the battery bought a new battery for it as well uh the battery was in there it was like four years old five years old and it, it had gone its life had come to an end 
so i bought a new battery as well so yeah hope you enjoyed the little walk from walmer castle down back down towards deal there's actually three castles in deal you got walmer castle deal castle and then up the far end you got uh sandown castle but when you get to sandown castle there's, there's no castle there's nothing there it's just some seats that you can sit on it's a bit of a mound and that's it some uh, some nice flowers and gardens and that, and that's it but the actual castle isn't there so but yeah it's got three castles along here in deal and if you include the one in dover dover castle i mean that's that's absolutely huge i think it's the best preserved castle in the whole of northern europe and that was built by king henry i think i think it was uh anyway i'm not too head up on my history i'm afraid I'd have to read it off a book or something. But yeah, a lovely day today. Beautiful weather. Nice little walk. Took my camera with me. Uh, didn't really see anything to take any photos of. So I didn't. I took one or two of a couple of ships out in the sea and that was about it. But yeah, all in all, good day. Good to be back on YouTube. And hope many more videos to come. So I hope you're all well. And thank you to the new subscribers that have subscribed subscribe to the channel uh it's always nice to have you here and uh i hope many more you know join come and join the channel build up the channel so i think i've got 328 now i know uh, i put a post on my facebook said 325 but it goes 25 and then the next one will be 350 but i've actually got 328 subscribers now so it's slowly building up and like I said, great to have you on board and I hope many more come and join. So, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. All right, take care, have a good evening. Bye now, bye. Mm -hmm.